Hi everyone, welcome to RLC Design Services continuing video series on web design, social media, and SEO. You're here with Rich Sharpentier, and today we're going to do a brief overview. This isn't a big tutorial. This is just to start you thinking on SEO and what is it. So, number one, what is SEO? SEO stands for Search Engine Optimization. Now, in order to get found online through search engines like Google, um, you're going to need to spend a lot of time paying attention to your search engine optimization. When someone gets onto the web and decides to search for something, they type in their search term and they're presented with pages and pages and pages of information from Google. As many um, web experts out there know, if you're not on page one of Google, you, you, you can just write yourself off. You're not getting found because most people don't go beyond page one. Uh, there's a perception, you know, whoever comes up first in the searches, they must be the best. Well, they might be the best, but they might also have developed a really good search engine optimization strategy. So what you say on your website and how you say it are the most important things to getting found online. In order to um, come up in Google search engines, you need to use words and phrases throughout your website about the things that you really want to get found for. For example, one of my clients a couple of years ago gave me a challenge. Um, I owned a gallery and studio in Prescott, Arizona for years, and I was well known for landscape photography. And my client pointed out to me that I hadn't been maintaining that site anymore. And when they did a search for Prescott Landscape Photographer, they didn't find me. And that's because I wasn't working on it, and I wasn't making an effort to get found for my landscape photography anymore. But after that client gave me the challenge, I spent about 8 to 10 hours over the course of three weeks retuning uh, the words that I used on my photography website and I employed some techniques like using the alt text in images, the alternative text, and you don't know what that is yet, but it's a, a special field that you can put some keywords into for the images on your website that Google will read um, and know what the image is about. Bottom line, you can put a lot of pretty photos up on a website but Google doesn't know what those photos are unless you tell them and that's where the alt text field comes in. Now in addition to that, the words that you use on the pages of your website also give Google a hint at what your website might be about. So after three weeks of working on getting found for myself for Prescott Landscape Photographer, let me click over here, if you do a Google search on Prescott Landscape Photographer you will find Number one about Prescott Landscape Photographer, Rich Charpentier. That's me. Um, so in a few weeks' time, uh, I was able to get myself back to number one for that particular phrase. Now, we also have had customers come to us and say, I want to be found for this keyword or that keyword. In one case, our clients at Bear Shoe out of Superior, Wisconsin, uh, the owner said to me, I would like to be known as the Safety Boot Headquarters. So, if you take a look at this Google search screen, I did Safety Boot Headquarters. And the number one website coming up for Safety Boot Headquarters is Bear Shoe Works, our client. So we did a good job getting found. Now, here's the thing. Does anyone search for Prescott Landscape Photographer? Does anyone search for Safety Boot Headquarters? We've gotten these two phrases number one on Google, but if people aren't searching for those words, then they're still not going to find you. So another big part of search engine optimization is selecting popular keywords that are regularly searched for. So in the case of our clients, or in the case of your own website, if you're doing this yourself, a lot of research has to occur before anything happens, before you expect people to start showing up at your website and buying your product or service, or booking with your RV park. You need to research words that are being used to find your business type in your area. For example, 
Point of Rocks Campground is another client of ours. Now, I am pulled up their, um, their report from SEMrush, which is one of the tools we use to see how we're doing on our SEO work. And as you can see, Point of Rocks has over 1,300 keywords that it ranks for. And as you can see, over time, since we redid their website for them in January 2015, they've been doing nothing but really growing their searches. And we had to spend some time deciding on what keywords we wanted to use within their website. So you can see some of the top keywords they have. Point of Rocks RV Campground is position number one on Google. RV Parks in Prescott, Arizona, position number one on Google. RV Parks near Prescott, Arizona, position number one on Google. RV Parks in Prescott, Arizona, position number one on Google. And we could take you into the full report to show you how well they're doing or how poorly they're doing on other keywords. The bottom line is you need to verify that the keywords you're using in your website are keywords that people are actually searching for. So we can help clients get to number one for lots of obscure search terms. That doesn't mean that people are using those terms, and that in that case, that means that they're still not finding those websites. So another big part of the work we do is we utilize tools like Google's AdWord Planner and Keyword Planner. We utilize tools like SEMrush here. We utilize tools like Yoast Search Engine Optimization Plugin for WordPress. The combination of all of these tools helps us determine popular words that should be used in our customers' websites, words that will get found and that people are searching for. Now, in order to do this, a lot of research has to go in up front and a lot of planning on what is actually said on the websites that we build. Um, without regularly repeating the words we want to be found for throughout the text of a website, they're not going to be considered keywords. One of the tools that we really enjoy is the web page word counter. So I typed in to the web page word counter for my business RLC design to see what the word counter believes my keywords are. And here on the left hand side it believes that design, website, online, RLC, RV, reach, and web, that these are some of my keywords. And sure enough, we do offer website design for RV parks. Um, we offer website design for businesses. And as you can see, the page that I had the, the web page word counter take a look at for me does indicate that I'm hitting some of those keywords that I want to hit for. So, when you're actually writing your web pages, you need to keep important keywords in mind. Now, how do you know what the most important keywords are? You're going to go ahead and you're going to start using Google's AdWords Keyword Planner tool. It's a great tool that tells you search volumes for words you're interested in. It will tell you if only 10 people a month look for these words that you're using, or if 100,000 people a month are looking for the words you're using. And let's face it, we all want exposure on the internet. So you have a reason for building your web presence. And if you've invested a lot of time and effort in building your website but have not considered the search engine optimization keywords that you're using, you might be talking to a room full of no one. Now, just to share another, um, another uh, keyword success, I've been running the Airstream Chronicles uh, blog for years, since 2006 to be honest. And for a while, I wasn't showing up on page one of Google because I wasn't employing good search engine optimization techniques. But the other year, I decided to take a little time. And for followers, people who've been to my website, you know I haven't been blogging as much about the Airstream and my travels because I've been busy with work. So some other people are in front of me, but I did take the time to make sure that if someone searched for an Airstream blog, they would find me. And in position number four, the Airstream Chronicles and Airstream blog shows up. So even though I have not been doing a lot of posting on that website, which also helps raise your rankings, even though it's been a very quiet website over the past two years, 
I'm still showing up on Google page one for an Airstream blog. So if people are looking for Airstream blogs, and a lot of people do, they are finding me. I'm front page. And if I did a little effort, maybe another eight to ten hours over the course of the next month, I could get myself back into the number one position. As I don't have the time for that because I'm busy working with other clients and working with their search engine optimization, I'm going to leave it as it is. So bottom line for this video tutorial, we just wanted to introduce the concept of search engine optimization. The number one way to get more keywords on your website is to write full and rich content. Content that uses the words you want to be known for. So in the case of our safety boot headquarters before, they need to focus more on words like steel-toed boots, safety boots, work boots, and they need to repeat those words throughout their pages, not in an obnoxious way. If you overdo it, Google will penalize you for it. That's where great tools like Yoast Search Engine Optimization for WordPress come in. And when we get into a full search engine optimization tutorial video, we're going to show you through each of the tools that we use and how they help us impact not only our own search engine optimization but our clients search engine optimization and doing your SEO properly is going to guarantee you over the long term more regular visitors more regular customers and if you're a destination location like some of the RV resorts we work with more guests coming to your door on a regular basis